William Hill sponsors Joshua vs. Takam on Sky Sports Box Office. Well, unbelievably, this is my first time at the iBox gym here in Bromley. Incredible, isn't it? I've been threatening to come over here for many, many years, Bradley Skeet. Cougs, I can't believe you've not been here. I can't believe it, man. But for the truth, you thought that I had been here, so I could have got away of just saying, oh yeah, I've been here loads of times. Yeah, you could have blagged it, but the little comment you made outside about I would know if I'd have been here, um, I didn't know how to take that, so yeah, I don't think you have been here. This is a very nice gym inside it, but outside doesn't really match, does it? Am I being, is that wrong? Are they going to like tie me up outside? I don't know. You're going to have to take the camera outside to show them what you're talking about. But no, it doesn't match the inside. <laughs> Bradley Skeet, uh, British welterweight champion. How are you, my friend? Outright. British welterweight champion. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. All I worked right. hard for all that. Right. <laughs> the owner of the Lonsdale... <laughs> Prestigious <laughs> belt, Bradley Skeet. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, all good, Cooks. All good, mate. Into what? pressure. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> Tell us what's new. Obviously, I'm assuming you're waiting, awaiting a fight date uh, before 2017 draws to a close. Yeah. Um, yeah. I need to get out now. Um, I boxed in July. That was my last fight. Um, obviously, there, there was there was the Jeff Horn situation. Um, was was real close to getting that fight done agreed to all the terms set out and, and put forward to me um, then to be then to be told he, he was looking elsewhere so yeah excited about that but mo got to move on from that now and uh, um, and then hopefully get get out before, before like I say before the year ends let's talk about the situation regarding Jeff Horn obviously now we know that Jeff Horn will face Gary Corcoran uh, in December in Brisbane um, but do you feel that this was a fight that you should have been there to have uh, ahead of Gary, Gary Corcoran. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm ranked number three with the WBO, so Jeff Horn obviously just coming off a win against Manny Pacquiao. Um, the Pacquiao rematch was there, but Pacquiao um, couldn't couldn't fight this year. So uh, he, looking down the, the list, he didn't have far, far to look. I, I was there, ready, available to fight. Like I say, worked hard to get to that number three rank, and uh, he, he's, he's looked elsewhere not taking nothing away from Gary Corcoran. I put out a comment that he took the easier option. I didn't, didn't there was no disrespect there, meaning Gary Corcoran, because that's a hard fight. I believe Gary's going out there to, to cause the upset, and, I, and I, I'd like to take the opportunity to wish him all the best. So initially, what was the reason that was given to you why Skeet versus Horn, or Horn versus Skeet, didn't happen? It was just these people, uh, just pussies, that's it. <laughs> Straight pussies. Uh, they shit themselves. That's it. They're, why else wouldn't they? Why else wouldn't they want to take the fight with me? Like I said, I'm ranked number three. I'm red. I was fit and ready of, to fight. Now they're looking elsewhere. They they looked elsewhere. Why? The terms, everything was agreed. I agreed to everything. So all it was left to do was sign a contract. And then they went quiet. They got cold feet. That in my eyes, they pussied out of the fight. Obviously, it's uh, one of those situations where you wouldn't begrudge uh, another Brit, obviously, getting a world title shot uh, like Gary Corcoran, but you know, at the same time, you feel you, know, you should have been uh, ahead of Gary Corcoran in the queue, and that should have been your fight. But like you said, you, you know, you've got nothing against Gary Corcoran yeah. now uh, having that fight with Jeff Horn in Brisbane. I start, like I say, yeah, no disrespect at all to Gary. I wish him all the best and I really hope he goes out there and gets that win. Um, <laughs> but I believe I, 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 it should have been me in that ring fighting. So obviously this is still at the back of your head somewhere, but moving forward for you now, obviously we know that you own that British title outright now. Yes. And we've been speaking to you for quite some time now about you know when do you move away from this kind of domestic scene so this would have been obviously the perfect opportunity for you to do that. It's not to be. So um, early part of next year, what is the goals for you? Do you know what, Cougs? Um, I spoke about it before. Uh, be, being, I wanted the British title. I wanted to win that outright. I, I was stubborn doing it. Frank wanted to move me a bit, bit sooner than, than what I wanted to. But, but I've got it now, like you say. Um, and Egerton was, was the European champion. Everyone was the next level up from British level is European level. And I, I made statements before saying I'd pass European level the way the way I beat Egerton. I didn't they didn't find myself that would have been a backward step 
than, than fighting at, for the European title at the European level when I've beat him. So my next level was world level to me. I believe I, I need to mix up world, world level and get some world, world class fights um, to, then, to then go on to get that world title fight. But that, like I say, the opportunity come up, it, it hasn't happened, but I'm now I'm ranked number three, so I, I can still crack on and, and they can't take my ranking away, so it won't be long and I'll be mandatory, so they'll have to fight. But um, now, Eg with Egerton getting beat, I want to fight that French guy. I want to beat that the, the French guy and, and pick up that European title. Um, I think I think to finish the year off getting that fight would be perfect for me. Um, I, I could I could I could easily I I, I think I'm made, his style is made for me. He's tricky southpaw, but um, I believe I, I'd beat him well. Um, I could get so, I could get some decent fights there, and then I, I can move on to world level next year. I'm assuming. Somewhere in your head as well, a, a great situation for you would be if Gary Corcoran was to beat Jeff Horn and then make the fight between you and Gary Corcoran here in the UK. Yeah, that's the easy option. That that be that be the easy option. We're both with Frank, and we're, 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 it, it can easily get made. But they, it's, people don't know. People, people, that'd be the first thing everyone would think of. But I know for a fact that fight wouldn't happen just that like that that easy. He's going over to Australia. He's probably got all ties into Bob Arum and his rematch clauses, and he's going to have to fight Pacquiao, and because he's still in the limelight for the belt. So me, like hoping that fight happens if he wins and this I know I'd be waiting ages so it wouldn't be easy everyone everyone looking in would think oh if Gary wins yeah come over Frankie get that fight on straight away it ain't that won't happen that ain't gonna happen so realistically I, I just need to concentrate on myself getting myself into that mandatory position and and making the fight happen have people stopped giving you a stick now for calling out Manny Pacquiao a few months ago because I'm so glad I've done it and all the people did give me a stick because it happened, he's, he, I didn't weren't being disrespectful or nothing whatsoever. But Manny Pacquiao isn't the fighter he, he was two, three years ago, and I genuinely believe I was the man who could have went on to beat him. That's why I was calling his name. And Jeff Horn, two, three years ago, wouldn't have been fit to lace his boots, and he got in there and beat him. Yeah, it was controversial. Yeah, it was in Australia, but the man stuck in there and got the win. And like I said, what would I have done to Jeff Horn? And it proves it. He swerved the fight with me. So, there you go. I remember speaking to you before the fight uh, between Pacquiao and Horn, and you know, said that we assumed that Pacquiao would beat Horn. Also said that, personally, I think that you would beat Jeff Horn regardless of whether he's beat Manny Pacquiao or not. Yeah. So, is that fight so ridiculous? That's what I said to you. I remember we was outside, uh, I can't remember where we were, Belfast. Yeah. We was up in Belfast, I remember. And, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's just boxing, isn't it? It's boxing. And I'm so glad we've done that interview and it's, and it's on camera because I, I was saying it, and I was saying it before that as well, before that. So it's just boxing. It's just boxing at the end of the day. All right, Bradley, listen, we'll await news for a fight date for you, which should be imminent because we're coming towards the end of uh, October now. So best of luck and, uh, yeah, crack on with the training, son. Thanks, Cooks. Don't be a stranger, boy. <laughs>